Kawhi Leonard sweepstakes are over. And I hear he's proving Santa Claus. We've got new details <laughs> coming in just a minute. More gifts for us. But Leonard had the world holding its breath. And when he finally made a choice, things escalated so quickly. The breaking news from overnight, the Woj bomb happened at 1.50 a.m. Eastern time. Sources tell Adrian Wojnarowski that the Clippers are making a trade for Paul George with OKC. It'll clear the path for Kawhi Leonard to sign with the Clippers on a four-year, $141 million contract. It was George that requested the trade reportedly earlier this week. OKC receives quite a bit. Here are some of the uh, details. So the Thunder, we're going to get Shea Gildas Alexander and Danilo Gallinari. Plus, they'll get five first round picks, four of which are unprotected in 2021, 22, 24, and 26. And they also get two pick swaps. However, details continue to emerge this morning. What now and new can you tell us about this deal, Woj? Well, I mean, it was a wild, dramatic night of negotiation. Sam Presti, Oklahoma City's general manager, was leveraging the Clippers and the Raptors off each other on Paul George, trying to strike deals with both teams and getting each to up the ante. Uh, they were willing in Oklahoma City, if there was a pathway, to do a Paul George and Russell Westbrook deal to Toronto, but that was not a deal that Toronto was going to do. Toronto did not want to give up Pascal Siakam, uh, but ultimately, the fact that the Clippers had so many first-round picks, so many uh, young assets for Oklahoma City to take on and, you know, and then move toward reshaping their roster, Toronto couldn't answer the package with the Clippers. The deal went to the Clippers. There was, there was time late last night where the Clippers feared that a deal was going to get done with Toronto and perhaps Paul George and Kawhi Leonard might stay there. Wow, so you're telling me that the Raptors had an opportunity to make a go at Russell Westbrook and Paul George and decided to pass because they did not want to give up Pascal Siakam. No, well, in the end, taking on four years, $170 million, I think, $150 million plus of Russell Westbrook, that's difficult for any team in the league right now given you know, that Westbrook is starting to head toward his downside. Sure. It's going to, th there could be a market for Westbrook. I think there would be if he's available, uh, but for the defending champions, that's not a deal they were willing to take all in. And Pascal Siakam, you know, most improved player in the league. He's a future all-star in Toronto. Uh, and the thing, too, is Toronto had to know that if they did do a deal for Paul George, that Kawhi wanted to stay. Gotcha. Butch, what was the stake for the Clippers in all this? Well, really the sending of their organization probably back to the dark ages because in the end, they believed in the final hours that Kawhi Leonard would have walked to the Lakers. He would have gone with LeBron James, with Anthony Davis, and the Clippers would have been left still with, you know, several, you know multiple, multiple draft picks going forward, but in an arena where they would have been rendered irrelevant. The Lakers would have not only sucked the air out of L.A. and the Staples Center, but all of the NBA. And in a lot of ways, the Clippers were the last line of defense for the entire league because I, I don't know that there were many teams in the league rooting for that collection of talent together. Uh, the Clippers, I think, in self-preservation, you know, did what they had to do, went to the lengths they had to go to give Kawhi Leonard what he wanted and what he told them earlier in the week needed to happen, uh, get Paul George. Oh, oh, and before, before the Clippers knew what Kawhi wanted in a trade, until he became a free agent and they could talk to him, they went after Bradley Beal in Washington. They went after Drew Holiday in New Orleans. Those players weren't available, but when they were able to finally talk to Kawhi Leonard and he made it clear that Paul George interested, interested him and then Kawhi talked to Paul George uh, about wanting to play with him, that set in the events in motion. And then Oklahoma City did a very good job of leveraging both teams to create an offer that was essentially unprecedented in terms of draft compensation to the Thunder. It just goes to show how unreadable Kawhi is because most of the conjecture would tell you like he's not a guy that will recruit and we find out all along he was recruiting Paul George to join him in LA to play for the Clippers. Listen Woj is all over it because there are still a lot of names out there and now that this domino has fallen we expect there will be big news and Woj will be here undoubtedly to break that for us. Thank you Woj. Thanks guys. Thank you Woj. Paul George and Kawhi Leonard were some of the most efficient players with the ball in their hands last season. They ranked first and second in points per touch according to second spectrum. They now join a Clippers team that ranked 10th in offensive efficiency last season. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.